Hey everybody, this is Eric Worry and welcome to NetworkMarketingPro.com. I'm here in Scottsdale, Arizona, a little bit of an overcast day, but wanted to take a quick minute and say thank you for all the support from the, the big webinar that we just did, how to recruit 20 plus people in the month of February. Uh, the response to that was overwhelming. It overwhelmed all the, the webinar ser servers and services and capacity. We had 10 times more people that wanted to get on that could get on. But the good news is we have a replay link, and you can get to that replay link below. Watch that webinar. It's going to help you really take 2013 and accelerate your growth. Okay, so that's the first thing. Second thing is I'm happy to announce that $2.2 million a year earner, Mr. Robert Hollis, is going to be joining us as a trainer at GoPro Recruiting Mastery 2013, December 5th through the 8th. Robert is a master trainer. He's unbelievable, top earner, walks his talk, and I will tell you, you're going to be blown away when you see what he has to offer. He, he uh, participated in a panel discussion at our last GoPro Recruiting Mastery, and uh, I, today I just want to show you just a brief clip of one of his comments that he shared during that event. So enjoy that, and everybody have a great day. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye. So, Alice, how about you? Tell, you know, how did you first get involved in the profession, and and uh, and and what was that that moment that when you, when you decided to go pro? <clears throat> well, uh, I had two of them. Uh, what happened to me is I did everything that I was told to do. Um, you know, I went to school. When was this? Okay, okay yeah, back I, when you growing up. Yeah, yeah, I was told to go to. Uh, I wasn't smart enough, so I went to a trade school, and uh, I was a mechanic. And so my whole life revolved around being the best mechanic I could be. And a van fell off a hoist and wiped out my knee. It mm. hyperstended it, and uh, and I had a doctor in a white coat basically tell me um, that I couldn't be a mechanic anymore. Well, I was a single father. My son here, Robert Hollis Jr. Uh, um, and I just like, oh my God, what am I going to do? When was this? Um, I was uh, 26 years old. Okay. And and I just uh, I just like, wow, how am I going to provide for my son? I, I I was just devastated. And when you do that whole thing where you blame everything but God, and then I got to the point where I even blamed him. And it got to a point where I tell people when you're so far down, then you got to roll over and look up. Mm. And I can remember the day of asking for help. If you guys would stop trying to do this on your own and ask for help, you would not believe how fast your upline wants to help you. If they're not there, keep looking up. Keep going up until you find somebody that will help you. But you got to ask for help. And, um, and I remember just being on my knees saying, God, man, give me an answer. And you got to be careful when you do that. And uh, a guy called me up and said, everything wrong, everything wrong. And uh, when you're in the right place at the right time, you just got to keep calling like Todd Falcone did. Mm -hmm. Because this guy said, hey, Bobby, because I was a mechanic, and uh, <laughs> not Robert. And uh, he said, listen, he says, have you heard of Amway? And I said, no. And he says, well, it's nothing like that. It's legal. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, you know, I didn't even know what network marketing was. And I said, what are you talking about? And he said, listen, I met this guy. He makes 62 grand a month. I seen his checks and he's looking for some people. And I said, I'll come pick you up. <laughs> and I had a cast on my leg and I went and met, seen a presentation just like you've seen Eric do. Uh, they, you know, this large group of people came from Herbalife over to NSA Juice Plus. Mm -hmm. And I sat in that meeting with my arms crossed and I just went, man, this is my answer. And so I just put my head down and did everything that guy told me to do. Everything you guys are seeing on these boards, um, you know, in this training, is exactly what I did. And so for me to just put my head down and do exactly what I was told to do, because I wanted to replace an income that I lost as an auto mechanic. Mm -hmm. It was like, um, you talk about the hungry situation. Yeah. It was like, I did not want to do anything. And he challenged me, uh, even in that assignment stuff, he looked at me and he said, listen, I put 70 brand new people in front of a presentation in my first 30 days. Let's say you're half of me. I was like, I'm not half of anybody. <laughs> Got to challenge some people. Yeah, yeah. And, and I said, man, and so I put 72 people in front of the room and and bingo, you know, it's like he did all the work. Uh, my first 18 months in this industry, ladies and gentlemen, all I did is fill the seats. Dragon Get bodies. excited, put people in front of people like Eric, and, and let them do what they do. And I got pushed in front of the room. You know what I mean? But the second aha moment that, that I think Eric's going to be surprised about is that mentor sort of had uh, some difficulties legally. And all of a sudden, 
I'm out there. So I'm with this guy for seven years. Mm. And I'm looking for another mentor. And Roger Pinsky was my first uh, billionaire mentor. And when I got hurt, then I, of course, I found uh, Jim Rowan uh, through audio tapes. And that let me into this industry. So I was preparing myself. And then after Bill Gould, my mentor, my next mentor, and he doesn't even know it was Eric Worre. Really? Yeah. Way back? And, um, yeah. <laughs> now, I come from a different school where I felt like I couldn't get in front of this guy or even ask him for any help or anything until I proved myself. Well, that's not true. But I, I'm telling people not to do yeah, that. Yeah. And so I followed him around. I always was the guy in the back, and I was listening, applying everything I was knowing. And as soon as I started getting momentum in that company, it got shut down. And you know which one it was. Yeah. And so, um, but I've been following you like crazy. And one of my, one of my epiphanies is just going, listen, if I can find myself another mentor. And so the, one of the other ha moments was one day that I'd be on stage with you. And I still don't feel like I deserve it. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so I got a little gift for you. What's this? Because I just believe in what you guys are doing. Blessing, so, blessed to be a, a blessing. Thank you very much, man. Yeah. So that's for the charity, and I appreciate you very much. Oh, unbelievable. $5,000 for the charity, guys. Thank you. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. You didn't have to do that, but uh, I will tell you it's a blessing that you're here. Isn't it a humble man? who's making a million dollars a year. You, there's so much you can learn from this man, but gosh, I'm blessed to be your friend, buddy. And, and, and to correct it, I'm making 2.2 million. 2.2 million dollars a year. I'm just saying a million plus. Okay, okay, okay. okay. 2.2, and I know you are too. I know you are too. I'm just saying seven figures. Let's not get touchy, okay, okay? Come on. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, when you get to five million, maybe you can just come out of your shell just a little bit. Thank you very much. You're welcome.